Have you ever wanted to be an animator but had no idea what you were doing? You're in luck because, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to become an animator. Animating pictures and ideas in industries as diverse as law, healthcare, entertainment, education, television, and gaming is a remarkable career opportunity. Stay with us to learn how to become an animator and how to break into this fast-paced, thrilling business. Before we continue, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by hitting the subscribe button below to get a notification on our next video. An animator is an artist who makes a series of images, known as frames, that when exhibited in fast succession, create the appearance of a movement known as animation. Animators work in a wide range of industries, including film, television, and video games. Other than the fact that multimedia artists earn an average of roughly £24,000, the animation profession is rather lucrative. This sum, however, may vary depending on your skill set and prior expertise in the sector. Animation offers a wide range of job tasks that will help you hone and master new abilities. You will have creative freedom if you are working on your project. The global animation industry is huge and diverse, with a market value of $259 billion in 2018. This raises the question of what animators actually do. Animators work on everything from ads to video games to generate special effects and other animations. Some animators specialize in something specific, such as hand drawing, producing 3D characters, or creating computer-generated pictures CGI. To create these special effects, animators use a variety of techniques and tools, including digital drawings, 3D models, and animation software. Now it's time to get down to business. What is the salary of an animator? How much do they make? Recent blockbusters such as The Incredibles 2, Black Panther, and Avatar have grossed billions of dollars at the movie office, thanks in large part to their impressive CGI. Meanwhile, between 2015 and 2020, the worldwide video game market, which relies largely on animation, is predicted to expand by roughly 5%. Consider becoming a freelancer if you want to pursue a career in animation. Over 59% of animators were self-employed in 2017, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, and many steady animation positions only last as long as a project's development. It's possible to find a long-term animation job, but if you don't mind changing jobs and always upgrading your abilities, there are plenty of short-term opportunities. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the median pay for animators in 2017 was $70,530 per year. The national average, according to Glassdoor, is $74,000. Compensation for animators, like many other occupations, is based on experience. It's not uncommon for senior-level animators or art directors to make well into the six figures. Now, what are the steps to become an animator? Number 1. Consider taking some animation classes or enrolling in a degree program. For most people, attending school is the first step toward becoming an animator. Multimedia artist and animator jobs normally require a bachelor's degree, according to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics. Naturally, the animation program you choose should be based on your specific professional objectives, past education, and skills. Number 2. Commit to improving your abilities. Your professors can only teach you so much about how to become an animator, no matter how amazing your animation program is. They can motivate you to do your best, but you must still put in the effort. You'll also want to work on your acting and observing skills, in addition to developing core art skills and mastering animation and editing tools. Number 3. Make an impressive portfolio and demo reel. If you ask any industry insider how to become an animator, they would tell you that having a strong portfolio is essential. Building portfolio pieces is an important aspect of the curriculum in media arts and animation degrees at the art institutes. Number 4. Obtain a diverse range of work experience. Internships and freelance employment can help you get experience outside of the classroom while you're still in school. 
Your professors or career services may be able to connect you with current industry practitioners. Learning animation can take from 1 to 3 years, though becoming a professional animator might take up to 10 years. It takes a long time to master the art of animation. You must not only be able to create human and animal characters, but you must also comprehend how time works. To become a skilled animator, you'll need to be able to sketch perspective, comprehend anatomy, grasp how objects move through space and time, and possibly know how to use a 3D software tool. You may probably be ready to animate in a month if you want to add some rudimentary animation to your movies, such as logos and basic effects. There are numerous online courses available to teach you to animate with applications such as Adobe Photoshop and Premiere. However, if you want to learn about animation, you'll need to do some research. You'll need a lot more time to fully get to the bottom of the timing and movement concerns. Expect to spend roughly three years learning how to animate unless you're very skilled. Basic movement, locomotion, and character animation will all be practiced during this period. In addition to tuition, there are expenditures associated with any degree. For an artistic degree such as animation, these expenditures can exceed $10,000 or more. These expenses cover college tuition, books, and supplies. Compact discs and compact disc cases are among the other costs associated with building an animation portfolio. 50 packs of either cost around $10. To augment their CD portfolio, they can create a physical portfolio with printed or hand-drawn photos for an additional $28 to $165. Animators and special effects artists should be artistically talented and have a strong grasp of color, texture, and light. They may, however, be able to compensate for their aesthetic inadequacies by improving their technical abilities. Many animators and special effects artists rely on computer programs or programming codes to complete the majority of their job, which necessitates their superior computer skills. To develop novel ideas and bring them to life, animators and special effects artists must be able to think creatively. Most studio and game creation organizations require long hours, especially when there are tight deadlines. Employers usually want a bachelor's degree, as well as a strong portfolio of work and technological skills. A bachelor's degree in fine art, computer graphics, animation, or a similar discipline is typical for animators and special effects artists. In addition to art courses, computer graphics programs frequently contain computer science classes. Painting, drawing, and sculpture are all part of bachelor's degree programs in art. Drawing, animation, and film classes are usually required for animation degrees. Many universities offer specialist degrees in areas like interactive media and game design. You can make a decent living as an animator if you have the desire to work hard and the technical, artistic, and communication abilities required to create high-quality animations. Hope this video was helpful? Were there any parts that stuck out for you? Thanks for watching this video. Please share your opinions in the comments section below, and remember to click the subscribe button to be the first person to watch new videos on this channel.